Good morning. Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works. James chapter 3. Your tongue is the bit that turns your body, your life, your marriage, your circumstances around. Your tongue is the rudder of your ship that keeps it going, that gets it going in the right direction and keeps it going in the right direction. Your tongue sets on fire the course of nature. So we ended up yesterday talking about how the captain or the rider of the horse keeps it going, keeps the pressure on the reins. The rider keeps the pressure on the reins of the horse to keep the pressure on the bit to until the horse turns the direction it wants it to go. The captain keeps the pressure on the wheel that turns the rudder until he has it going the right direction that he wants it to go. So it can, you can be going one direction and be sick. You can have so many sicknesses, what the world says are incurable diseases. And you know, we thank God for medicine and, and doctors and all of that. But the only way for you to be perfectly whole with God's healing is by taking the Word of God and speaking it and for you to be completely whole. So you can take God's Word, put it in your mouth, but keep pressure on that. Let me share with you just a couple of examples that I have read about. One was uh, Dr. Yeoman, Lillian Yeoman, and I believe she was around the turn of the century. She was uh, a, do a physician and she had become addicted to uh, prescription drugs. And she cried out to God to heal her. And then God began opening up the power of the word to her. He didn't come in and just heal her. He showed her the word and how to speak the word and how to uh, just put that word in her mouth and in her heart. So she and her sister established a home for people that were incurable, that the, that the physicians had given up on. She and, and they would read the healing scriptures to them and have them say the healing scriptures over and over again. One particular case was a woman that came in on a stretcher, uh, just literally on her deathbed with tuberculosis. And she read the healing scriptures to her. And then she said, now I want you to say over and over and over again, and I believe I'll get these words right. According to Galatians 3.13, Christ hath redeemed me from the curse of the law, being made a curse for me. According to Deuteronomy 28, tuberculosis is a curse of the law. Therefore, I am redeemed from tuberculosis. Therefore, I do not have tuberculosis in Jesus' name. And she had her saying that over and over and over again, just repeating it. Okay, so back to James 3, what she was doing, she was putting the bit in her mouth. She was having her put uh, the word in her mouth to turn her body around. So the next morning she went in there and she said, did you say what I told you to say? And she said, yes, I must have said it a thousand times and the lady could hardly speak. And so she said, well, continue saying that all day long, all day long. So she did, she kept speaking that to herself as, as much as she could all day, all night. The next day, uh, Dr. Yeoman went in and she said, have you been saying what I told you to say? And she said, yes, but it doesn't mean anything to me. She said, just keep saying it. The, I believe it was that evening, um, I may have my days wrong, it was either two or three days later, they were fixing dinner or a meal, and she and her sister heard this commotion upstairs. This woman that had come in just a couple of days before on her deathbed because she had put that word in her tongue and that word got down into her heart, all of a sudden it became life to her. And she jumped up off of her deathbed and ran down. She said, did you know that I am redeemed from tuberculosis and I am healed? And that woman was healed from then on. So this is the key. Keep the word in your mouth continually. Not just one time today, not just two times today. No, the captain keeps pressure on that rudder. You need to keep pressure on your tongue so that you need to keep pressure on your tongue so and say it over and over and over and over and over again. The more you say it, then the quicker your body, your life, your circumstances will turn around. We'll pick up on this tomorrow. Isn't this good? Such freedom to know that you are the captain of your ship. 
The Holy Spirit will help you, and that's very important, but you are the one that makes the choices which way you go. Remember all day, Jesus is Lord. Confess that. Jesus is my Lord, not the devil. Thank God the Word is working for me. Amen.